Hi there, my name is Agustin Caroso and welcome to our station. In this episode, we're going to talk about Webflow SEO optimization. Ranking in Google is not easy nor fast. So even before talking about optimization, you should be thinking about creating content that attracts views, that is shareable, and also that answers very specific questions of your audience. Nevertheless, I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you should be using on your or your customer's Webflow websites in order to have a solid foundation to start doing SEO. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, before we go deep into what exactly we need to do inside of Webflow, let me give you some general tips on what to do regarding SEO. All right, so tip number one is, of course, as I just mentioned, creating good content. And that means content that attracts eyes, that answers questions, and that is shareable. But this is beyond the scope of this tutorial, of course. You also need to do some good keyword research. I suggest Uber Suggest and Google Trends, but you should do your uh, due diligence, diligence and search for yourself which tools are the best, but those are the ones that I recommend. Tip number two, you need to provide for your user, your visitor, an awesome experience. And that means you should have a fast navigation, good UI or U and UX, and you should make it mobile responsive. All right, tip number three, good structure. And by that, I mean using good, uh, using properly sections, containers, headers, and putting alt text inside of images. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second inside of Webflow. Tip number four is to enable publishing options so we will do that going to the settings of the project. That means like enabling SSL, minify CSS and minify JavaScript, disabling the indexing of your .io domain, subdomain, and enabling auto-generate sitemap. Tip number five, what we're gonna do is setting up your page properly. And that means having a proper title, a proper URL, and a proper description. All right, so now that we're inside of Webflow, we should be focusing, first of all, in creating a good structure uh, in your site, right? So that means using properly the <laughs> hito section, sorry, the hero section, wrappers, divs, h1 headers, h12 headings. And that means that as an example, h1 is going to be way more important for Google than h2, and h2 is going to be more important than the paragraph, right? So you should take that into consideration besides putting like filling them with keywords, right? And valuable content that you, you always need to have an H1 in your page followed far by whatever text you want to do, but you should take into consideration that H1 is going to be more important and thus, and then H2, H3, H4 until H6, right? Then in, when it comes to images, we should be using the alt here uh, description because uh, this was uh, this serves the purpose of us being able to tell what it is inside this image for people that are visually impaired or for people that don't have good uh, internet connection and google takes that into consideration when they visit your web your website right because the first thing in seo optimization is having a good experience for the final user right now we can go to the page here and to the settings and it's here that we're going to be able to create the title of our page, right? So let's uh, let's call it home page for awesome project. Now here this they give us a snippet of how it's supposed to look into a Google search. So we should we should take this opportunity to fill this with valuable keywords. Because this is going to be the first time that Google's going to see your website and also someone that may become a visitor sees your website. And now here in open graph settings, uh, I recommend that you use the same as SEO title tag and the same as the SEO meta description, which are these two right here. And this is what's going to be shared when you share it on Facebook or any other social media. And in here, when it says open graph image URL, this is going to be the URL that appears whenever you, sh you share this, web uh, this website link. And the best way to uh, to pick one is to go to yeah let's 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 save the changes. Let's go here to our assets. Let's click into the image that we want to make it shareable. Let's go to the toggle here, and then we're gonna click here. It's gonna open in a new window, in a new tab. We're gonna copy this link, and we're gonna be able to use it right here. 
and you're gonna see what happens bam awesome so now we whenever we share a link of this page it's gonna come with this information sorry with this information and with this page with, with this image and then site search settings make sure that you're not excluding this page from site search results and we're gonna save all right so now we have a home page that uh, is actually uh, properly named properly structured we have alt images here let's go to our project settings here the first thing that i would say is go to the seo tab where we're gonna do be doing most of the uh, optimizations first thing is to disable the subdomain indexing because what's gonna happen is uh, uh, Webflow actually allows us to park or to to use this this um, temporary domain to showcase this website to to our client. We could say, but as soon as you have a, a, a proper domain that you bought and then that you you set up inside of Webflow, you're gonna need to come here and to disable it because Google doesn't like to have two uh, websites that are very very similar, or actually the same uh, sh with the same content, and he doesn't want it's not gonna show it in Google, right? So disable it here. Next, you're going to need to come and to auto generate a sitemap. This is a little bit more complex. So I recommend that you come to this link that Webflow uh, gives us because it's a, um, it is a very long tutorial and you need to go through it with patience, right? Then we're going to go come to hosting. And in here, you're going to put your custom domain, which, were, which I just mentioned that this is the one that you actually want to have Google crawl. And then in here, in advanced publishing options, you should be able to check most of the ones that make sense for you, which in my case would be SSL, H Minify HTML, Minify CSS, and Minify JavaScript. Minifying means it's going to make it uh, load uh, faster for a user. So again, uh, Google values most uh, final user experience. And SSL talks about security. So same thing. And then you're going to save the changes. And that's it now it's SEO my friends it's very very complicated and to be honest is a skill that goes beyond my own skills and but I wanted to give you an overall um, some overall tips that I have learned over the years but if you want to actually dwell deeper into SEO I recommend that maybe you buy some courses or you go deeper into the subjects and also uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to learn more overall content about Webflow, not, not necessarily related to SEO. But I hope that I was uh, at least somewhat helpful and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!